how's it going? It's Keith Townsend from the CTOadvisor.com with CTO Dose. Nick, how's it going? I'm not going to even try and butcher your last name. Nick? Genetakis. Genetakis. Got it. Uh, where are you from? What do you do? I am from New York, and I'm a freelance web developer and an online teacher. What, what type of courses do you teach? I have a couple of courses on Docker, but I also have some on the web, web development side of things. So Flask is a pretty cool web framework written mm -hmm. in Python, so I have a full course on that. Okay, so we're you're a tech field day, cloud field day delegate, first time. How, yes. how is it going? It's been awesome, man. Like, anxiety levels were a little bit <laughs> high at first, but once we got into it, like, felt like home. So cloud field day, we've talked to a number of develop or companies ranging from where we would maybe call cloud native to mm -hmm. companies that are clearly in the infrastructure space. Anyone stand out to you specifically? I'm going to go with droplet computing. Okay. So just the idea of being able to run any app in a browser like that is pretty cool to me. You know what that was a really cool idea the ability to basically recompile a kernel inside of a browser and then deploy which is basically allows them to put a container inside of a kernel yeah very docker like in in, in the sense and then you can run an app on top of that which allows you to run whether it's legacy apps or even to develop a new application architecture type you're getting ideas as a, from a developer sense like yeah new types of applications that you might want to put put in something like that well for me as someone who's in the education space the first use case i thought of immediately was like whoa imagine if i can get people up and running with docker straight in a browser and they don't even have to like mess around with installing docker and installing you know sample code for my course or any type of educational stuff so i think it's going to be pretty big there yeah one of their big use cases was YMCA been mm -hmm. able to take basically, and they gave us all this full disclaimer, yeah. disclaimer. They gave us all Chromebooks, but YMCA can take something like a Chromebook mm -hmm. and then deploy their apps on in a browser inside a Chromebook to help burden, lessen the burden, the financial burden for delivering these heavy applications that require full Windows machines. Yep to the edge. So I thought that was pretty interesting technology in general. So if I had to say the technology that, inter that intrigued me the most outside of Droplet yeah. has been all of the data protection companies talking metadata and data management, the ability to basically know where your data is across the world and then leverage that data trying to wrap my head around what new applications, what new types of services can be available in, in that. So let's close out. Where mm -hmm. can people find your videos, your courses? Uh, my main site is nickgenetakis.com. Good luck spelling that. No. <laughs> it's uh, N-I-C-K-J-A-N-E-T-A-K-I-S.com. And we'll make it easy by putting it obviously in the lower third and then linking yeah. it in the show notes. Mm -hmm. And in general, do you uh, are you on Twitter or anything? Yeah, just at Nick Genetakis. All right. And that's it for me. This is the CTO Dose on site at Kyle Field Day 3. We're in the offices of Veritas from Veritas. Thanks for the space. Talk to you next CTO Dose. You can follow me on the web, thectoadvisor.com. You can find the CTO Dose, the, or www.ctodose.com. And of course, me on Twitter at CTO Advisor. Talk to you next CTO Dose.